Hey beautifuls, Hannah here from Reality Awareness. We are live and I'm doing psychic readings. There's so much that I could say about so many different things and so many different topics, but I did that last time and I promised that I'd be back with more psychic readings. So this is what this live stream is today. Now, if you know how I read and how I do psychic readings, you'll probably know that I'm always talking about world stuff and all kinds of topics when I do psychic reading live streams. And there's a couple of things with these psychic reading live streams is that number one, you have to be live. Yeah, of course. And I'm obviously not going to get to everyone because I do very in-depth readings and I won't get to everyone. That's, that's just the reality, right? However, if you listen to my live stream, you will know, hey, Nada, you will be able to pick up messages that are pertinent for you on the live stream as well. Hey everybody, yeah, thanks for joining live. Lots of people here. So, um, hi, hi Sonia, hi people. Okay, let me bring this up. Oh, I gotta, I gotta share. And, 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 and there is less than, less than 24 hours. There's like 24 hours left to go for our manifesting magic. It is the final hours that you can get in tomorrow night. So, hey Amanda, lovely to meet you. New people here as well, it's so freaking awesome. All right, as always, I'm gonna share this and then I'll be super present with you guys. Um, curious how you guys are feeling leading up to the full moon in two days. You love it so much, welcome back. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm feeling good to be back because like, this is what I used to do all the time. I'm like, oh, Hannah's back. I'm like, where have I been? <laughs> Not just the past couple of months, but like, I don't know. I've been in a recalibration phase, I think. I know, I know that's what's been going on, definitely. Um, okay, so let me bring this up. And, okay. And there's lots of things, guys. So, um, oh, thank you. Um, on the Tuesday Tarot yesterday, uh, there was obviously quite a few of you because there's only six numbers. So there's a few of you that had picked card number three. Now, whether you picked card number three or not, what I'm about to say may resonate with you and you might want this anyway. Um, you might have seen I just posted it on my page as well just before. Um, and this, this, this is the releasing every sexual partner you've ever been with. Yeah. So there's a ritual that I shared with my clients and um, it is super freaking powerful. <laughs> and it was only something I share with my clients. And then a while ago, I got the message to share it in my Trust Intuition tribe, um, which is members only in there. And then I got the message to share it publicly, but you can only access it if you're in my free private support group, which is on Facebook. It's Reality Awareness Support Group. If you're not in there, please send me a message and I can um, put you in there, like send you the link for in there. The ritual is in there and then there's a meditation as well that you can download for free. It's all for free. Um, for some reason that came through really strongly um, and it's about clearing out our womb, clearing out our sacral. So whether you're a male or a female, you have a sacral chakra and every time we have a sexual intimate connection with anybody, we obviously intertwine our energy with them and this is a way to really clear out our womb and be able to, I guess, have a clean slate. But that's also like every sexual partner you've ever been with. It's really, really big. It's really, really deep. Um, don't do it lightly. It's not something to be taken lightly. Is this where one uses water? I remember you sharing one and I did this with a C. It was so powerful. Yes, you can do it with water. You don't have to have water. I give lots of options in that ritual. It's very powerful. Um, yeah, it's not to be taken lightly at all because we're clearing out our womb. So that's generational stuff in there as well because our womb is our mother's womb, is our mother's womb, you know what I mean? Like goes back through the line. So it's very, very powerful for ancestral generational um, lineage clearing as well. Um, so yeah, so send me a message if you're not in my Reality Awareness support group and I can add you in there. Um, I will just um, put the link in for the Reality Awareness support group now anyway and if you're not in there you can request to join and I will add you in there. Grateful to be in that group. Yes, awesome. All right. Oh, there's lots of people wanting to join in there because I forgot to check that earlier today. All right, I'll just grab that link. All right, so that's the Reality Awareness Support Group link if you're not in there. Um, request to join and I shall add you. So hey, Gail and Gabrielle and Lena. 
Amanda, would love reading. Alison, Debbie, hi. And Paula, Pauline, Lauren, Kylie, Matthew, Debbie, Amanda, hi, hi, hi. Love it. Hi, Sean. I pronounced it correctly because I was wrong before. And Glenn and Gabrielle, oh, yes, Gabrielle and Emily. Okay, Nada, everybody's here. The fire looks so nice. Yes, it's pumping along. It's, it's really, really warm. And this one doesn't set off the smoke alarm. So <laughs> when I first got here, like, because I was like being in the bush for like two and a half months or something, three months or something, and it's off grid, so there's no power. So all we had was fire. And so I got here and there's three fires. So I had them burning for like 24 seven for like three days straight. <laughs> No fire alarm went off, so I don't know what the deal is now. Maybe I'm just adjusting. But I realized it was helping me transition from bush into, like, main normal reality again. I don't know. I don't know what it was, right? But, like, I, like, burned through so much firewood. And I, like, contacted the owner. And I was like, so what's with the firewood? Like, how do we get more? And he's like, oh, do you mean the kindling? And I'm like, is that the little stuff? Because, no, I mean the big stuff. And I could feel he was like... How the fuck did she go through all that fire? And I'm like, oh yeah, I've just been having it burning for like three fires for 24 seven. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm kind of getting a groove. And then I was like, oh, that's right. There's a reverse cycle air conditioner here. Oh, that's right, there's a heater. I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm in the electricity again. Got it. <laughs> it was pretty like, yeah. Anyway, it's very, very interesting experience to be able to, I don't know, transition like that. So interesting. All right. So, it was a definite experience, that's for sure. Yes, fires are the best. So, so good. Especially the open ones in the bedroom. Oh my God, that's like full luxury for me. All right. So, so we've got the sacred ritual healing. And then we've also got manifesting magic, which is building your online course, which is is closing tomorrow night so it's only 24 hours to get into manifesting magic so that's how i teach you to um build your online business yeah um all the tech all the mindset everything you need and i show exactly what i've done to get where i am today um it's the first time i've ever offered something like this so it's like ridiculously cheap you will never see it again at this price i promise you that <laughs> so if you're on the fence about it and umming and ahhing please know that this is the last time you'll ever be able to see it at this price again so i'm just gonna pop the link in for manifesting magic and then we can start our psychic readings. Oh, I didn't even share this yet. So hang on a second. How did I not share that? I was just got distracted talking. See, this is, yeah. <laughs> How did I get distracted talking again? Oh, that's right. Cause that's just what I do. I talk, I talk. Okay. Alrighty, just taking a while to load for some reason. It's almost like I'm off grid, taking so long to load. <laughs> oh my god, that was so frustrating out there, just no freaking internet. People think things are happening to them, but actually it's just what happens when there's no internet. Okay. This is really annoying me. Okay. I'm like needing faster internet. Hurry up. I'm sure you guys are like impatient like me, right? Because we want things done yesterday, not friggin' in six weeks. Well, if you're like me, you will. I'm glowing, thank you. That's what that's 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 what environment does, guys. That's what environment does. Environment, who you hang around, people you talk to, the people you're listening to, yeah. Environment is everything, and I know this entire experience has taught me to up level in such a dramatic way that yeah it's all the gifts pouring in from it 
tolerance about what's really important. Yes. We live in an instant world. Yes, we do. We so do. Instant. It's like now. 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 <laughs> Need the now. And doing this, we learn to work fast. Yeah. How do we get everything done? We work fast. Thanks, Amanda. All right. I miss them from when I lived in Tasmania. Yes. All right. So I know a lot of you guys have said yes to readings and stuff like that, but I'll only read people who are still live and we're officially starting the psychic readings now. So please say yes, please. I would love a reading because I will scroll through from those comments from there and yeah, do it from there because I know there's people jumping on and off and all that sort of thing. We need to stay live to receive a reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very intuitive and I'm just tuning in to who I'm reading. So Emily, Emily Hannah. Wow. Oh. Emily Hannah. How beautiful is this card? This is like my favorite card ever. Falling in love. I know it's back to front. I should probably turn the camera around, but I'm not going to muck around with it now. Falling in love. Kissing the divine in another in yourself. Did you know that I'd actually printed this card out and I had it in my office in the relationship section? For like the past 18 months and then it led me off grid with lucas <laughs> and it's so interesting right because yes it is about falling in love with somebody but it's also about the masculine and feminine balance yeah so beautiful yeah so beautiful so what number is this this is number 20. I'm just going to see what jumps out at me at the book, um, out at me in the book. Can you let me know if you're in a relationship or not? Um, please, Emily, <laughs> I know you, I know a little bit, but I'm, um, yeah, if you can just let me know if you're in a relationship currently. Okay, so I'm just going to read these little bits while I'm waiting for your comment there as well. And I just, yeah, you're in a relationship. Okay, so falling in love is a divine miracle, truly. But there are stereotypes about how it looks, books with strange names like the rules. Um, and the ideal that gets to attach to a person who has no idea what your hopes and dreams are. So foolish as it may make you feel, do not be cool, be true to yourself, fall in love with another and fall in love with your own honesty and vulnerability. Okay, so I'm getting the message, Emily, that there's something that you're needing to voice in this relationship currently. Like there's something that you're not voicing, yeah? So when we look at, you know, like um, fall in love with your own honesty and vulnerability and when I was saying, tuning into that, like I just feel like there's something coming up that you're needing to voice currently, like there's something going on there, um, yeah, that you're needing to, to say, yeah? I have a feeling it's something to do with boundaries or there's something that's crossing your line or something. Like I feel like everything's pretty generally good, but I just feel like there's something that's almost eating away at you a little bit, yeah? Um, and the reason I'm sensing that it's about boundaries is because my solar plexus just started kind of heating up a little bit and that's um, really related to like boundaries and self-worth. Like do you feel safe enough, good enough to be actually super open and vulnerable to voice what you're needing in the relationship? Um, and I just feel like it's, it's not the major, but it's kind of building up or it's kind of like eating away at you a little bit there. Now it's interesting because um, the bottom card of the deck is energy field adjustment. Now, if I'm understanding correctly from what I know I've understood from you, I know you've got a, a I don't know if you're wanting me to voice that on live stream, but you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> and the bottom card of the deck is energy field adjustment. Yeah, energy field adjustment. And this is like aura cleansing and health. So your aura, cleansing, aura cleansing and health. Yeah, uh, I've definitely felt that it wasn't an issue before, but lately, yes. Yeah, okay. 
And this is where it's kind of like, how much do you trust yourself? How much do you trust the space? How much do you feel, you know, confident in the space to be able to trust yourself enough and enough self-worth on board to be able to voice that in the relationship? So with the energy field adjustment card, I feel like because things are changing, like growing and what have you, the energy is also changing, right? And so it can change the dynamics through the relationship. And, you know, in any relationship, like the deeper you get, the more stuff that surfaces, right? It's like any, any relationship, right? The, the deeper you go, the, sorry, the longer you go and the more consistent you go, the deeper it gets and the more stuff surfaces. Why? Because as you're growing together, then what used to be growing sing singly, <laughs> single, like on your own, right, is now come together. And so it's like almost like double energy, right? So if you're not conscious of like working on the stuff as it surfaces, well, then it gets to a point where it doesn't, doesn't grow anymore, right? But the sense I'm getting about the energy field adjustment is because of that and what's shifting and changing in your physical body and physical life, it's kind of like it's almost stretching the boundaries of, hmm, okay, is this, is this okay? Is this going to shift? Is this something I need to voice? Is it tolerable? You know, like where's my boundaries there about that, right? Um, so, yeah, and so I just feel like there's something else that wants to jump out about here. Okay, so it says, it says, kiss the bliss, taste the nectar of life, of life kiss the nectar of love and share the ecstasy but also experience the utter breakthrough and freedom of honesty it may not all come at once but little by little let falling in love teach you the lessons that as you recognize the divine in another so too must they recognize the divine in you it must be mutual and it must be a boon not an instrument of torture or manipulation right so our everyone's needs being met in the relationship right and what is that that yeah it was okay before but it's not okay now then you know like if you were to voice that does it shift the relationship does it you know is it something that you can meet your own needs or like where's the boundary with that yeah so that's that's that one yeah what is it that you're needing to voice as you go through these changes because i just feel like because i know what's going on for you <laughs> Um, this obviously will keep going, right? I know what you know what I'm talking about, right? And it's not like, do you know what I mean? It's like these to consider as well in the long term of this, yeah? To combine it all, yeah? Because it will keep growing and changing. I was going to say more so than a normal relationship, but yeah, you know what I mean. All right. Okay, so... Thanks guys for all your comments there. Okay, so I'm just gonna tune in to who's next here. I feel like my nose is like stuff because I've been freaking crying so fucking much lately. Like you know, well, my nose gets all dry like underneath and I'm like, is there something hanging out of my nose? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's this like? Because I've been crying so much, it's all dry. I'm like, no matter how much moisturizer I put on, I'm like, it's just dry. Anyway, anyway, okay, whose turn is it for a reading? All right, so I'm just tuning in, guys, and it's intuitive. I'd love to be able to read everyone, but I can't. Well, I'm choosing not to because of the, the, the style and the way I read, and there's 30 people online, so I don't really get to everyone as much as I would love to be able to. So I'm just tuning in for the next person. Of course, I do private psychic readings. If you'd like to book in, you can send me a message. All right, so this next person is... I'm just tuning in. I'm just allowing the scroll and then the intuitive stop. All right, is it Liana or Ayana? Liana or Ayana Williamson, are you still online? Because that's the other thing I want to check if people are still here before I read for them because I know some people jump off. It's so interesting when we 
speak up for our needs and boundaries in relationship, what response we get from the other person when we do that. Yes, okay, I think it's Ayana. I don't know if it's Layana. I think it's, I don't know. So I'm sorry I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, but um, I imagine it would be Ayana, I would assume, otherwise it'd be L, right? Okay, so this is for Ayana Williams, and look here. All right, energy work. It was so interesting, I was just thinking, I'm like, are we, are we working together? Are you a client? Or I'm like, oh no, I don't know this person. <laughs> and it's so interesting because energy work came up and I was like, oh, maybe, I feel like I know you or something. So Ayana. So energy work, right? And so I'm like, the first thing I want to ask you, I'm like, do you work with a mentor? Do you work with somebody? Because I feel like at the moment, like you're going through this big phase of like awakening like this I don't know if it's like the next level of you or the next version of you or the next like it's just like this like I don't know how to describe it right it's this big um I don't know there's lots of light inside of you like I'm literally seeing lots of light inside of you so see on the card here I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it okay what I just saw Okay, can you see how golden those like really golden bits are? That's what's inside of you and I feel like it's trying to crack out and that's why I guess the first thing I wanted to ask you was like do you, do you work with a mentor like you know because I feel like there's and maybe you're already working on it maybe you already know like there's this thing that wants to come out of you like your gift or something but I feel like you're very conscious of it but you're scared to take it to the next level. You're scared to, to, to push through that barrier or you want to like break through or you want to like, thanks. <laughs> thanks Dana Murda, my nose looks fine. I'm like, yeah, I just can feel all this someone. <laughs> um, so it's like, see, see how gold that is? Oh, you know what I'm talking about, right? So when I hold the card up, it's like this golden light that's like busting to come out of you or it's just like this glimmering inside of you and got this like shine and this glow right but it's almost like you either don't know how to take it to the next level or you're not sure what to do with that gift or you can feel it but you're scared of people's judgments or like there's something like that there and so this energy work right it says life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients so and it's so interesting right um, oh, thank you, Penny. Glowing, beautiful. <laughs> 33 people at 11 minutes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, so, Ayana, Ayana, and that's why I was asking you, like, you know, like here it says, you know, your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and your clients. And that's why I feel like you maybe do this work already um i don't know because i don't know you um but it's almost like you do or you know and it's interesting because the bottom card of the deck is an entrepreneur and that's why I'm like i'm like do you already do this sort of work or is it something that you're wanting to do or something or you've already got a business or something like that because um i feel like this is wanting to come out of you for the first time and you're nervous about it or you don't really know how or you're scared or anything like that or it's like you already do it and you can feel it kind of shifting and changing to what you used to do and you're like, well, I don't know what to do there, right? Um, so it's like, yeah, come out, yeah? Um, I'm not sure what my purpose in life is and I'm not sure what to do next, so that's interesting. Okay, yeah, and this is where I feel like, you know, obviously one of my gifts is <laughs> the Life Purpose Queen, put people on purpose and majority of the people that follow me and are here and do this sort of work are healers of some sort. So whether you specialize in something, whether it's mediumship or a healer and do everything or anything like that, like this is what this is. And I feel, you know, like when our gift is trying to come out or busting out or wanting to come out, it's like we can feel and it's interesting because you say, you know, I'm not sure what to do next. And you know, I'm not sure what my purpose in life is and, you know, and all that sort of thing. Like when we've got these questions um, bubbling up, that's because all this, like, it's about to bust out. And I think that that's what I can feel for you, right? So it's like, you know, when we're asking these questions and we're just starting to think it or like we're in a big recalibration phase and what happens after that? Oh, here it comes, right? And we're really clear about that and everything starts moving. So, so I would be asking, like, you could be, 
Um, obviously, meditation, um, talking to your angels, listening to your angels. I'm not sure if you've heard um, my uh, conversation with the archangels before. It's quite long. I think it's like, I don't know, an hour and a half, hour and a half or is it an hour, 50 minutes? I don't know. I think it's maybe longer. Um, I'm just going to get the link for that, wherever it is. And for some reason, if you haven't listened to this, I'm getting the message for you to listen to it, um, which is the conversation with the archangels. And um, so that's a, a free audio you can download, but it helps you to connect in with the 15 archangels and be able to receive messages that help spur you onto your life purpose. It's not exactly like telling you what to do, but the messages activate something within you that starts to bring that out in you and puts you on the right path. So I'll just pop the link in there for you as well. Um, let's just see here. I'm just going to put it as a direct link in for the comment that you put there as well. So yeah, so that would be something that I'd start working with. Of course, like I said, you can, um, you know, meditate, listening to the archangels. Um, like there's so many things you can do. You can write letters to your soul and, you know, like just, you know, you can even do it on your non-dominant hand and write the question, you know, like, dear soul, what is it that you're wanting me to know about my life purpose? Uh, and just like let write whatever comes out. Like just, just don't even filter it. Just don't even think about it. Like just write, right? And it might seem illogical or ridiculous or it doesn't make any sense. Like, but that is what, um, yeah, like just listen. So there's lots of different ways that you can start tapping into your life purpose. And obviously just asking like every day when you wake up, like what is the thing that I need to do for my soul today? Like, please guide me soul. Like, you know, those sorts of things really allow you to just be able to move you know, in the direction of your life purpose busting out of you. <laughs> so that's where I'd start working with there. But there's a lot of gold and a lot of light ready to ready to come out into the world and to share that, yeah? All right, so let's see who's next. You have a business-related question. So even though it's not like a psychic reading thing, ask me and I'd, I'd love to answer that. I feel like I'm helping heaps of people with like business stuff at the moment and it's kind of interesting for me. That's where I've been going like around in like this recalibration phase my, myself because I started online as an intuitive healer. Like, well, I started online not knowing what the freaking hell I was because I do everything. Becoming an intuitive healer and life purpose mentor came later. I had to step up and do the work before that even came through for me, right? Um, so yeah and you know like this is where we need to take the first step before we even know like i didn't even know what i was doing online well of course i was following a course right but um you know like that becoming an intuitive healer and life purpose mentor having my certification like my trust intuition certified healers course like so basically you can do trusty intuition which the doors are opening for trusty intuition on saturday by the way guys there's too much stuff going on i'm like okay hey, keep getting the message trusty intuition's opening and that's where you can become a certified intuitive healer but when i first started online i didn't like i'm like yeah i'm gonna open a training school and train healers like that's not where i was i was like all i knew is i needed to put my gift online like that's all i knew and i was doing that and then like 18 months later trusty intuition was birthed and then like I don't know, it was a bit after that that I turned it into a certif certified course, right? So you can come out of that course with an actual certificate of an intuitive healer and life purpose mentor, life purpose activator, and you can get insurance, you can build your business and all that sort of thing, right? Um, so when, um, you know, like I started online, that there, none of that, <laughs> it wasn't that, it was like, I started doing it and then doing it and now it's going to be a facilitator's course so you can actually teach that course, right? So this is where following your purpose and your intuition about the next step and the next step and the next step is like imperative. Like you, you just have to keep following the steps, right? You don't know where it's going to lead you. So that's really, really important. So which, by the way, manifesting magic, which is how I've done all the tech online, all of the tech 
like everything I've learned of tech stuff and how I do it online is in Manifesting Magic. It's the first time I've ever offered a course like this. You will never see it at this ridiculously low price ever again. Trust me about that. Um, and the doors close for that tomorrow night. So there's only 24 hours to get in. So if you know that you need to put your stuff online and you don't actually know what even you're doing, right? <laughs> or how or where it's going to end up, like you need to trust that. Yeah, trust every step. Okay, so Ayana says, oh my goodness, thank you so much. We'll definitely go and listen to that awesome. We'll definitely try. Yes, definitely unsure about what my gift is and scared about the future. Yes. The thing is, and especially like right now, um, been so distracted, time to hook back in. Yes, awesome, Cassie. <laughs> um, I've been distracted too, so funny about that. <laughs> funny about that. Um, so... Yeah, and scared about the future. So the thing I want to say that is that right now, there's a lot of people experiencing a ton of uncertainty in the world, right? Like it's a big thing because, um, you know, with all the world stuff, right? Now, the thing about your life purpose is that you don't know the next step. Like literally, it's the path that you cannot see that you need to take, right? So you know, if you're like, get a job, like a normal job, and you're like, cool, now I work like Monday to Friday, and I do these things, and I know I'm gonna get paid then, and I know I'll get holidays, and like, you see the path, right? Entrepreneurial journey of online, of life purpose, even, even if your life purpose is not online, you don't see the damn path. <laughs> it's not a like, okay, cool, like it's not a logical, structural thing. It's a one step at a time feeling the way, right? Like it's literally the thing. Like it's the path that you cannot see, but you know you have to take. It feels right. And it's the one that you just, you know, you have to do. Otherwise you're going to go over here and your soul is going to die and all sorts of problems are going to happen. Like you're going to get sick and all these bad things happen to you. Why? Because you're not freaking on purpose. That's why. This is like all the blocks, like telling you, stop, stop, stop. Body gets sick, bad relationships, all this shit. Like, no, like it's over here. Follow the flow, follow what feels alive, but you won't be able to see the whole path. You need to trust each step. Like it's a thing, right? If that's the scary part, right? It's scary or we trust our intuition the whole way. And this is where people come to me and they're like, cool, I want to join the Life Purpose Mentorship and come in there, I want to find my life purpose. And I'm like, well, that's kind of not the space for you, right? In a sense, because trust your intuition is how you trust yourself enough to take the path left, less traveled and uncover your purpose in that direction. Your life purpose won't uncover in the path that you can see. You must be trusting the intuition of the path less traveled. Like, it's just, it's a thing. <laughs> it's just a thing, right? So, yeah. Okay. Hey, Leanne. Sixth sense intuition. That's right. That's the one. Go trust yourself. And that's really hard. Hey, Leanne. Watching from the sunny coast. Ah, oh, how's the weather up there? I'm, I'm kind of starting to miss the warm weather. I'm still in cocoon phase, so I'm not too bad. I've been having lots of bed days and lots of cry days and lots of fire and just being here and I kind of like, I'm like, oh, the sun's out. Go outside and it's like walking into an ice box and I'm like, oh, I just sit back by the fire. <laughs> so I'm starting to notice I'm missing the sun a little bit. You're so welcome, Ayana. All right. So Lana says, my nan visited me in my dreams for the last week and the week before that every day could smell her perfume around and she's been gone for nine years. So this is like mediumship to the max. Um, actually doing a psychic development class in my trusty intuition group, which is what I do every month in there. And we're actually doing it on mediumship funnily enough. So that is the, the paid private members group. But like I said, you can join trust intuition it opens on Saturday, but it's interesting that mediumship theme is quite um, strong at the moment as well. Um, but yeah, that's how, you know, like being able to smell her, um, coming in the dreams, like she's communicating with you, like that's you having a visit from her, which I know you probably know, but these are the signs. This is like spirit talking to you from the other side, right? All right. Okay. So I'm just scrolling through the comments, choosing someone else. Okay. Is Kayla here? Kayla Edwards? Let's see if she's still live. Just got to check if she's still live. 
Uh, I'm not sure what that comment was for, Pauline, when you said a counsellor. All right. So just check in these comments. Watching from Jersey, is it Channel Islands? Is that how you say it? Is that how you say it? All right, so Kayla's here. It's like that here, freezing winds. Ah, is it now? Chilly at night. I think when I first got down here, like on the like southernest part of Australia, well, almost the southernest, like almost the southernest tip, um, and like the whole of the sunny coast was like freezing, and I'm like, oh well, it's so different. I'm not missing out on anything. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. The through traffic from Spirit have been busy here too. Yeah, I feel like the veils are pretty thin at the moment, which kind of makes sense, right, with um, the eclipses coming up. So the full moon this week, so Friday night holding a full moon ceremony live online, which is going to be freaking amazing because I got a space and I've got something special planned for it. So um, yeah, we've got a, there's a lunar eclipse, right? And then there's two other eclipses coming up and I feel like the veils are pretty thin. There's been a lot of dark stuff around. Um, yeah, I remember that too, Alana. They're memories I'll never forget. Um, Alana says, hanging out with you at your Nana's house in Broken Hill when we were kids. Oh my God, yeah, those are some of the funnest memories of my life, hanging out with you. <laughs> All the rubbish we used to get up to. Not rubbish. It was fun. It was freaking fun. I remember the parties at your house. <laughs> All right, so Kayla, tuning in, tuning in. Tuning in. Okay, Interesting. Interesting, Kayla. This is align your life. Uh, what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? Kind of interesting with what's going on, right? With what's going on and obviously with the other cards that we've just read as well, right? So what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? Now, this is a might sound weird, but for some reason I need to share this message. So when just recently, like the biggest thing for me is I sleep so deeply, like I sleep so freaking deeply, maybe because I'm in alignment with my life or something. Well, I'm starting to realize that's why I sleep so deeply. Right. And there's a lot of people who have sleep issues. I don't know if this applies to you or not, but for some reason I need to speak this to you about align your life. Right. What is no longer in alignment with your life? with who you truly are, okay? Now, this is so interesting, the sleep thing, and I was just talking to someone about this in private message, and they were saying not sleeping well, and I was like, well, actually, I haven't been sleeping well either. Now, yes, we could put it down to solar flares and full moons and eclipses and all this sort of jazz, but I tell you what, I sleep like a baby all the freaking time, unless something is out of alignment with my life. If something is out of alignment in my life and I'm not listening to my intuition about taking action on changing that, I sleep so badly, I can't sleep. I wake up in the middle of the night, I can't get back to sleep. I, I wake at the tiniest little thing because I'm like on edge, like it's just like this tiny little light sleep and I wake up and everything, right? Whereas if I'm in full alignment with my life, I sleep like a baby, okay? Now, what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? I guess the first thing I want to answer, I'm like, how are you sleeping, <laughs> right? Now, maybe you are sleeping like a log and maybe you're exhausted most of the day as well, or perhaps you're sleeping really like not very well and then not being able to like really tired during the day. So I'm getting the message for you, Kayla, something about your work as well. Is it your work more so that's out of alignment? And I almost feel like there's like, things stabbing you, right? So when I'm saying that, I mean like energetically, of course, right? But it's almost like, you know, you do something and you get stabbed, right? Like, or you, you know, it's almost like stepping around the thing, making sure it's like, like the mirror cracking. And it's almost like you look in the mirror and it's like, well, like, what is this? Like, and maybe that's in your, um, you know, your life or actually looking in the mirror and it's like, you don't know who you are. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, if this is resonating or not. And I'm, I guess because I'm nervous of saying what I'm saying to you. 
Um, you're really busy every day. Okay. And this one here, this is the bottom card of the deck, right? This is protection, call back your power, cut the cords and soul retrieval. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Okay. So, cause when we're really busy every day as well, and this is another thing about not sleeping, like there's so many, um, thanks Danny. There's so many things about, um, like not sleeping, right? There's, I've done many live streams on sleeping because there's so many factors to it, right? But the other thing is, um, as I saying, not sleeping. Oh, so when we're really busy during the day, we wake up during the night because it's the only time our intuition can speak to us, right? And so if we're really busy, and another thing about keeping busy is that we're avoiding the truth. We have trouble speaking our truth, so we swallow our needs. So we're like walking around like this, right? And like this, see it's like a mirror broken or something, right? But I feel like it's like shards of the mirror that kind of like stab you a little bit. And it's almost like you wanna say something or make changes, but you're like, yeah, you don't. So you kind of like swallow that truth and you kind of just deal with it. And then so you're feeling all this stuff, like you're not voicing your truth and you're feeling all this stuff and it's like all this energy coming in and you're like, Meh. and so what we do to avoid that really uncomfortable feeling and like, oh my God, I've got to like speak and I don't want to, is we keep busy. Yeah. We keep busy. So we don't have to face the really uncomfortable feelings, the really uncomfortable conversations. Um, you know, like sometimes that really uncomfortable conversation can lead to a relationship ending and we don't want it to. And we like, you know, um, we'll do anything and just accept that it's normal and, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, even though we know it's not right. And so then our body starts getting anxious or exhausted or we're not sleeping or no matter what we do, we don't have energy or like we've got all these problems in our body and we can see a zillion like healers and all sorts of things. But ultimately we're just not listening to our intuition and our body is just trying to speak to us. It's a bit like what I was saying about going down this path and you know, like the path that we can see, right? Like say if you're in a relationship or a career or something and you're like, well, I can see this and I get paid and oh, I'm in this relationship and this is how it is and I can see this right? But we know our intuition is leading us this way and we can't freaking see that. There's no concrete steps. There's no, there's, it's just like this big black abyss of just nothingness. We can't see it. There's no structure. We don't know, right? And that's why it's scary. And this is why building the trust in your intuition is so freaking important, important right? Because when we keep busy and we're like so busy, yes, at some point, yeah. So we keep so busy to suppress all those feelings and avoid them. And it's all those feelings that start going, hey, she's not paying attention to what we're trying to say. So, hey, we're just going to give her like this physical ailment and this physical ailment and this and this. Because number one, you're carrying all this energy besides your own swallowing of the truth, which is like so detrimental. Okay. Um... All right, so align your life. So where are you not trusting your intuition? What is out of alignment and you're not making changes? I think you said, yeah, you really want to make changes. Yeah. So where's the deck? So when it was like this one, like protection, call back your power, cut the cords and soul retrieval. Now, I just want to say this really important point, guys. We can cut cords. We can do energy clearing. We can do past life vows and meditations. We can do like releasing soul contracts. We can do all the work in the world. But if we're not going to take the action that our intuition is saying, hey, not that way, this way, and actually go this way instead, we can do all that work and it doesn't fucking do shit. Right? I'm not going to apologize for my French. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a thing. Yeah. That work is really important. Please don't get me wrong. Okay. But if you're only doing this work thinking that it's going to fix the situation when you know in your heart and soul that you need to leave and make a like make changes. Right. Right. We need to do that spiritual work. Yes. But we also need to make the physical changes. Okay. Because as soon as we make those changes, it's like everything comes back, our health, our energy, freaking everything, like without doing the work because the work is trusting intuition and taking the action to where you know you need to go. Yeah. 
<laughs> there's a lunar eclipse on that card too check it out <laughs> check it out yeah okay yes i agree and yes i only do it because of that okay so and this is the thing right where yes we need to do all this work and that sort of thing and you know because as soon as we listen to our intuition and we take the steps in the direction of our intuition is guiding us to as soon as we do that we've immediately called back our power we've immediately pulled our soul into alignment we've immediately cut the cords right because the only reason cords attach is because we're in fear and we are scared and we're in attachment and as soon as we step over into trust which is a muscle by the way yeah it's a muscle can i go Thanks, Alison. You seem so flipping down to earth. Yes, I like to keep it real. <laughs> Keeping it real, y'all. Um, can I go into soul retrieval? So soul retrieval can be very easy, okay? So in my free meditation pack, um, my essentials meditation pack, there's six, five or six meditations in there. And um, in, in that pack is the recalling your energy meditation. Now, that's a really short it's like, I think it's three or five minutes long or something. It's really short, but it's freaking powerful. Okay. So if you want a meditation, that one's really good. Cool. Like it's recalling your energy, but you can use it with the intention of calling your soul back. And I'll give you some other examples of being able to do soul retrieval. It's very simple. Um, all right. So I'll just get this link for the meditation pack so if you guys don't have my meditation pack yes this definitely makes sense to me yes 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 awesome so i'll just put the link in for the meditation pack here so like i said um there's five or six meditations in there there's training videos in there as well um the pack comes with a course no but recalling your energy meditation is in module one of trust intuition yeah so you've already you do have it um cassie so this is just for other people who are not in trust intuition because you've already got it because you're in there. Um, so the recalling your energy. Yes. Yeah. So there's training videos in there as well. Like take your time to like once you sign up and log in, you, there's training videos. And I highly recommend taking the time to go through them. You don't have to do them first. Just eventually get to them because I've that there's pure gold in those training videos and it enables you to use the meditations while you're walking in the street and don't even remember that you don't have the meditation on you but you can use it like these are tools that help you fine tune and acutely use your intuition so um yeah so there's kind of no excuse because there's like five or six meditations in there <laughs> like there's heaps chakra clearing and there's even a life pl purpose blueprint activation in there don't ask me why the angels told me to put that in there for free but it is it's in the realm attunement meditation in there as well so yeah so there's that in there um hey Hector. okay so okay so the soul retrieval so like i said you can use that um recalling your energy meditation with the um with the intention for calling your soul back so you just you know before you press play you just be like well I now choose to call my soul back from all directions in time and space in all dimensions and I re retrieve only my soul now okay so that meditation is very similar to that but you can listen to that and use that now the other thing you can do for soul retrieval um, and when you're doing any of this sort of work I always recommend like um, asking Archangel Michael of 100% light or any being or guide that you use of 100% light always put on the end of whatever you ask and whoever you're asking in the spirit world of 100% light why because then you're going to get only the purest highest vibration because just like in our physical world there's a lot of people that wear masks there's a lot of people that um are not who they say they are there's a lot of people who are not even conscious that they're not even who they say they are like it's not really even a conscious thing right um but that sort of thing happens in the spirit world as well so there's a lot of imposters and you know that sort of thing so when you're asking for any spiritual help in the spiritual world just ask for um ask them to um ask of 100 percent light right I'm losing my train of thought so only because i'm getting another message about something random of course <laughs> um so when um when you do this next this this soul retrieval was i don't know they can be quite deep so just be mindful 
Um, I've done this and still been tricked, then what? Mm, um, be curious what you mean, still being tricked. Like, expand on that, Susan. Let's let's go into that. Expand. Tell me, like, how were you tricked? Like, what what's that about? Um, so, yeah. So, the soul retrieval. So, I always use Archangel Markov, 100% light. I also use the star beings of 100% light and also my dragon of 100% light. And these are beings that I use all the time and also in my healings and that sort of thing. So, when we do um, this soul retrieval, it's like Archangel Mark of 100% light. Can you please help protect and open the space? And my star being and my dragon, call in whoever you may. Now, it's like you can open a portal, right? So, a portal can just open at any, you know, space in your reality right here because it's just all made up of atoms and we can open a portal at any time. Now, this portal specifically opens the channel to all of your past lives, to all of your future lives, to all of all your lives, yeah, that your soul has ever made contact with, thought about, or been, or experienced at any given point in time. So I now call back my soul from all directions in time and space, in all dimensions, in all lifetimes, in all experiences, in all memories, in all people. I call back my soul now. And you can imagine like threads coming back into yourself and it's only you, yeah, you've declared and that's the intention. It's only you that you're calling back into you. You can see it like jigsaw pieces of the puzzle coming back onto yourself, um, you know, like from all different directions, time and space. Who is feeling and doing this as I'm talking? Can anybody feel this, right? As we're doing it, right? We're doing soul retrieval at the, at the moment, guys, for those of you who have just joined. So, um, pulling all these pieces of your soul in and you can feel that it's really quite powerful. It's like, you know, all these pieces and it's, this is really awesome as well to do when you've been in, you know, a situation that's been unpleasant, you know, cause usually what happens when we go through life and it's like, you know, like, you know, if you go back along your timeline, there'll be like kind of like blips, blips in your timeline, <laughs> right? Of your, your life, right? And what usually happens when we go into trauma or we're scared or there's something going on, like it's like we freeze, right? And what happens is a piece of our soul, this is contradictory, right? We'll talk about that in a minute. So a piece of your soul gets left on this timeline all the way back here, right? And so on this timeline all the way back here is a piece of your soul. Now, if you can imagine every time you're scared, hurt, betrayed, shocked, um, cry, needed to cry, but didn't cry, like, oh, like, there's a lot, right? There's a freaking lot, yeah? So when we look back over the timeline of yourself, then there's lots of kind of pieces that we need to recall, yeah? Now, I'm not saying recall the trauma, no, but we leave, it's like a, a crack. Oh, there we go. It's like a crack, yeah, that gets left, or we crack open and we kind of shattered in a space and we're left all over the space, like, that sort of thing, right? So... Yeah, people saying they felt that. Um, yeah, lots there. Awesome. Um, done. Powerful. Uh-huh. Yes. So when we are calling back pieces of our soul. Um, sorry, I'm just asking Ida to put Jazz outside because she's walking around. Um, So yeah, parts frozen in time. Yeah, and so it's really important. Like, in, and so when we're looking in trust intuition, and what I talk about in um, module four, um, is you know like in our aura, and when we freeze, it's like this is where the trauma sits. You know when like when I teach in module four, and the the bit of the trauma sits in your aura, and it's like a brick, and it's heavy, and it's like a cloak, and it clouds your intuition, and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So when that sitting there, that came from one of the blips where like, <gasps> that happened or whatever, right? And that's why it's so important when we do this personal development work, it's not just like once and we do it and we're done. It's like, it's a, it's a way of being. Yeah, it's definitely a way of being. Um, okay. So I'm just going to have a look here. So Susan says, okay, I spoke good, 100% light field with divine light and asked a question, received an answer, but didn't feel right. So I asked for a double check to... 
person I'm speaking with and true person to be exposed and it was another person impersonating. Um, God, not good. Okay, so sometimes, and I just want to point out here with what you've just shared, is it can be, um, I say tricky, <laughs> tricky, <laughs> because when we're asking a specific question, if it's not an answer we don't want to hear, then we will not want to hear it. It's a bit like doing a card reading for yourself and the cards come out and you're like, oh no, that's not what I want to read and you do it again and you, you do it again and you're like, but that's still not what I want. That's not the answer. Like, do you know what I mean? So you like receive the answer, but it's not the one you want to receive. So do you know what I'm trying to say? So maybe that's not the experience, but I just wanted to share that bit. And then the other piece around that is, you know, like you asked for, you ask the question, you got an answer, and then you're like, but that's not right, right? Now, the question I would be saying there around that is when you ask the question and you're like, but that's not right, sometimes we're asking a question for an answer. We already know the answer, but the answer is reflecting the doubt of the answer we already know. Does that make sense? I know that's a bit of a, a minefield. Yeah, so when we ask a question and we're like, no, that's not right. When we ask a question, we're already usually doubting our intuition in a way. And so when we receive an answer and we're like, no, that's not right. Well, we already know the answer, <laughs> but we don't want to face it. Right. All right. Let's bring these comments up again. Person impersonating is a person who is constantly energetic, energetically manipulating. Okay, so is this a spirit or is this like a physical reading with a physical person? Can you just clarify that for me? It was the same person, not the true person of God I was speaking to. Yeah, so just clarify for me, was it in person or a spirit on the other side? You're so welcome, Kayla. Oh, a real person. No, oh. that's a whole nother ball game. Sorry, I thought you were talking about spirit. <laughs> um, okay, so the person is a person who is constantly energetically manipulating. So I would then question, why are you getting a reading from them? Why are you in communication with them when you know this? Yes, this is a whole nother ball game. Person in this life who has gifts to manipulate. Okay, now I just want to point out this whole manipulation thing, okay? Because I personally, probably going to get unfollowed for this and that's okay. I personally don't believe in manipulation. Now, contradictory statement, okay? Because emotional manipulation is a freaking thing, right? In a toxic relationship now the only reason a relationship gets toxic is because we haven't left when our intuition has told us to leave that's when it then gets toxic because we can um, be in a relationship in a situation and it's amazing but then there'll be a switch and something will change and we'll be like okay that's that intuition telling us to go but we don't want to so we start to head down this path and we cling on and the attachments and this is where it starts to get the manipulation energy and all this sort of thing right um, okay, so let me just check here. I'm not getting a reading that in my life as a person who has physically harmed me years ago that has had um, ongoing ramifications. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, whether it's a reading or not, you're still asking a question, right? And you already know, like those sorts of people, right? And I'm not saying that they're not manipulating you. Like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying giving a, a different understanding of the energetics, right? Um, this person is not physically in my life for years, but I can energetic, can't energetically get rid of him. Okay. So this is where, this is so interesting, right? I don't know how we got onto you. I don't know how did this happen, but this is the same. Yeah. Same stuff here. Um, from Kayla. So the person is not in my life, but I can't energetically get rid of them. And this is where the deep inner work goes. Okay. So we can remove ourselves physically from someone and we need to, yeah. And as I said, like the spiritual work and all that sort of thing, it's like, you know, usually there's a big like lift off, like we feel like, oh, fuel, like, you know, we're out and we're like flying and we're doing this stuff again. 
But then when we can still feel them energetically, that's when we're like, okay, now we need to dive into the real work here. Okay, so this is where I would be recommending to work with a mentor like myself or someone else you resonate with. This is what I specialize in, in energetically unhooking. Okay, I know I've spoken about that before. Energetically unhooking from relationships and being able to integrate the reason why you're still why you're still feeling this because if you haven't done that deep inner work right um okay you've done so much deep work okay have you done any of my work it would then be the next question because i have so many people come to me and they're like i've done so much work i've done all this and it hasn't worked and i'm like have you done my work <laughs> because if you haven't fixed up the traumas that are sitting there your aura is still like this it's still like a minefield that's never been repaired especially when we've been in an emotional, um, manipulative, toxic relationship, yeah? All right, not yet with me, yes. <laughs> That's what I'd be saying there. All right, so I'm gonna do one more person. And so this is like turned into psychic readings and spiritual healings and soul retrieval and psychic development. <laughs> Danny says, do Hannah's work, yes. <laughs> Yes, Danny's in my inner circle and you've shifted so much stuff, right? Constantly been healing traumas and past life stuff. Yes, and I ask you again, have you done my work about how to do that? <laughs> and I know you said no before, but I'm just saying. All right. So last one, just going to scroll. Okay, actually, I'm going to get you guys to say yes, please, again, so I can... You're welcome, Susan. I don't know how we got onto that. <laughs> it's obviously, obviously meant, 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 meant to come out. Okay, I'm actually going to pull Lena. Lena! Crown Chakra. I was shuffling just before and then, yeah, this came out. So... Okay, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answers to your prayers. Okay, so I feel like you've been having like an influx of ideas and energy coming in, Lena. I feel like there's something quite big trying to come in um, for you. And I'm getting the message to work with the star being. So the meet your star being guides, meditation, um, to help open that channel because I feel like this is um, like a connection home, um, like your, your soul star home. And I feel like there's like, this is almost like opening the floodgates to your life purpose in a way that you, you knew, but it's not like you've stepped into it or I don't know, like, but I feel like there's more information that is all brand new to you about to, about to download, about to come in. Yeah. Um, so working with the meet your star being guide meditation. Um, and I just feel like, and it's, <laughs> this is going to sound so weird. So like on the back door, on the back door, on the back door, like what's on the back door. And I know it sounds so weird, right? So, but I'm getting like the back of the head and stuff. And I don't know if you've been getting like pains or, or anything. I don't know, something like that. Um, but also like <laughs> the back door of your house. I don't know. Can you see the stars out your back door? Can you, um, connect with the stars in your backyard I don't know it's almost like I can see your backyard and I'm like is that my backyard no, that's not my backyard nor is it my backyard can you take a photo and send it to me privately no you don't have to I'm just like your back door and you I don't know what it's like uh, I'm crying hearing this yes I feel so deeply yes I feel like I'm on the cusp of everything yeah I I sense that for you big time yeah star being meditation yes Yes, so big. I look at the stars every night for hours. Yes, so powerful. It is so freaking powerful to do that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, that's your message. And a lot of people jumped off because I said it was the last one. But that one went really quick. So I'm going to pick somebody else. How about that? Huh? Look what you get for staying on. <laughs> look what you get. <laughs> My back door backs onto the car park, but can see a beautiful big tree and the evening sky. Ah, there we go. It's the evening sky. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Maybe you're moving soon. I don't know. Are you moving? <laughs> I don't know. Just saw that. 
Okay, so yes, let me know, yes please, so I can scroll through and intuitively check there because everybody jumped off and I was like, well. All right, Sonia, Sonia. Oh, two came out, check it out. Look what's behind there. Can you see it? I know it's back to front. I just moved in January, but I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting my own place. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if that's what I saw. So I wonder what connection that stars and that download then also shifts you into that too. All right. So this is for Sonia. Emotional healing and business venture is behind it. I love this card so much. Check it out. So I feel like there's a lot of heartache, a lot of grief. I do know a little bit of your story, but I just feel it so deeply in the heart and I feel like it's quite buried or shut down. It's like, oh, I don't, it's not like I don't deserve this. I don't deserve to feel this. No, I don't deserve, oh, I don't know what the words are. I don't deserve to feel the grief. It's not, it's, can't I can't put that in words, right? Um, ah, thanks, Mari. Is that how? Oh, is it Mal? Mal. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Mari. <laughs> I'm new here from South Africa. Your energy is amazing. Thank you. So business venture. So Lena says, absolutely, my gifts are being amplified right now. Huge, huge stuff coming. Yes, it's so exciting for you. I'm so excited, Lena. Okay. So business venture. So like I said, Sonia, it's like there's this grief in your heart, but it's almost like I don't deserve to feel this grief, but it's not that. It's like I shouldn't be feeling this grief. I should be grateful for what I have and the life I'm living, but there's a part of you that's shut down. Emotional healing. Yeah. And business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. And I feel like that's where the grief and what it's about. Now, obviously I know a little bit of your story as well, but it's like, it's really strong and it's almost like a, uh, <laughs> not a cannonball. This is so weird. You know, the old guns in the olden days and there's like, I guess it's like a cannonball. Is that what it is? But it's not as big as a cannonball. It's like this size in your heart. And it's like, that's the grief, but it's also this, so I'm curious what's wanting to come out or it feels like it feels like you are working on it, but not to the capacity that perhaps you want to be maybe. Um, but I keep healing, healing, <laughs> keep hearing foundations, build foundations, build foundations, build foundations. So whatever that means to you. And it's so interesting. Like, again, the gold is really jumping out at me on that card, which is um, similar to the energy work that I got for Ayana earlier. And it's like the gold is like, that's where the gold is in there. So with the emotional healing underneath is that now also getting about the ear chakras for you. So it's like listening. So it's almost like the listening, the listening to building the foundations is what's going to enable. Um, so listening to building the the foundations is what's going to enable to unlock the heart, whether it's grief or whether it, you know, I do feel like there is grief around it in there. Um, but it's going to unlock the gold of the business. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I knew your mom can pronounce your name. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. Oh, <laughs> sweet. And the bottom, Oops, I just chucked it over there. The bottom card of the deck for you as well, Sonia, is vegetarian. So I'm wondering if you've been changing your diet. I literally just picked up the deck and it just like split, like it just fell like two. And look what this one is, debt paid off. Um, the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. Now this can mean soul contract debt as well. Yeah, like soul contract has paid off. Your soul is done now. In a sense of like, you don't need to live with the cannonball in there anymore. You can build foundations 
and prepare like that part is done does that make sense like that part is done yeah so you can do this but then i wonder if the vegetarian card or the children card popping up there <laughs> um the vegetarian card is like about whether it's shifting your diet or maybe shifting the energetic diet so it's like if that part is done then you can shift your diet to this kind of makes sense there yeah yeah you're so welcome makes sense makes sense all right awesome guys ah thanks for joining live that's so beautiful so thank you so much for joining live there's only a couple of there's only 24 hours well just a little bit over 24 hours to join manifesting magic which is how to build your business online so business venture trust and follow through on your new business idea or career opportunity from sonia's card and you know if you're getting those ideas like i said this is the first time i've offered manifesting magic at this like it's the first time i've ever offered it to be able to teach everything that I've done online, all the tech, all the mindset, all the, all of that stuff that has got me to where I am today. Yeah. And it's the first time I've offered it, like I said, so it's a super low, crazy, ridiculous price. You would never ever see it at this crazy low price. Again, it just me on that. So you've only got 24 hours. If you want to join us in that it's over five weeks. So if you guys got any questions about it, ask me now. Um, it's over five weeks and I'm dropping like recorded trainings in and it's literally like you're watching a video of me of the screen of the tech and I'm like clicking it and I'm saying do this and then click this one and this is how we do this and then click this and this is how we click this and so you can be watching that video and you actually setting up your online business while you're watching me work okay so over five weeks I'm taking you through all the tech and then there's mindset that drops in in alignment with what I came up against when I was building these phases and actually going through and building these bits and pieces around all this tech stuff. Yeah. So when, um, you know, like you are going through, because that's the thing, like between something, anyone in this planet who is successful or not successful, it all comes from the mind. Yeah. However, we need the foundations to be able to build that solid foundation then to be able to leverage and scale and grow bigger and share our message with the world on a grander scale right so like i said um there's only less than 24 hours to get in and i'll drop the link in again for manifesting magic or you can send me a message if you've got any questions about it at all um you're so welcome guys you're so welcome and so lovely to be back and have you all here as well i love you all all right, so let me pop this in for you. Can it go in? Yes. And yeah, it's so lovely to connect with you guys. All right, I'm going to pin that comment to the top so you've got it there as well. Awesome. All right, if you think this can help somebody, please share it with them in a private message or share it on your page or tag their name in the comments. Or if you're watching on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe. And yes, Lena's already loving the manifesting magic. Are you in that? It's, yeah, I've got more content. We officially start tomorrow and that's why it's the last time you can get in tomorrow. You've got less than 24 hours to join us. So um, link is pinned to the top there. You're so welcome guys. You're so welcome. Super love being able to connect with you guys again and in this capacity. It's freaking awesome and I shall be back soon with more psychic readings. So yeah, me too, me too. Awesome. <laughs> love it. Love you guys heaps and um, yeah, I shall see you soon. Mwah. Love you all.